Hi there. Now, in part D, we're asked to show that the lower quartile of X then lies between 1.425 and 1.435 for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll run through the question slowly, or you might want to fast forward just to check it out quickly. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, to do this question, what you've got to be familiar with then is the cumulative probability distribution function, f of x. So we worked that out in the first part here, okay? And what we would expect when you've got to find the lower quartile, let's just put it down here, is that you'd expect f of q1, q1 being the lower quartile, that will give us the probability of being less than the lower quartile. We know that would equal 0 0.25. So by substituting these values into f of x, then we should find that one value is slightly more than 0 0.25 and the other one is slightly less than 0 0.25. So if that's the case, we would know that Q1 lies between 1.425 and 1.435. So let's start off then with working out what F of 1.425 is. So if you just substitute this into here, okay, you should find you get 0.2435 and so on. And if you do f of 1.435, what you get is 0.2522 and so on. So you can see that these two values, one is below 0.25, the other is above. So therefore, what we can say is that the lower quartile, just write it in here, the lower quartile, Q1, is such that Q1 must lie between 1.425 and 1.435. And I'll put since f of q1, okay, should equal 0.25. And I feel that should be sufficient for that answer. Okay?